Hi, I'm Randall from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab, and I'd like to share with you a tip on how AI technologies are really having an impact on not only what I'm doing, but what many teachers and educators are doing around the world to enhance the development of their content. So in my particular case, I'm going to go down to life stories, because in life stories, much of the content, including the voices, are generated using an advanced AI voice generator. On this page, you can look for frequently asked questions about this particular project. But if I click down here, one of the things that teachers have asked over the years is, why not have a variety of different voices, male and female, uh, different accents and so forth. And of course, I do have children's voices and different voices from my family and friends over the years. What I wanted to do is use advanced AI technology to create more. Listen to the sample of some of these voices on my website. Here is a short sampling of some of the new voices that may appear on Randall's website. Welcome to Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. Give you an idea. Dedicated to language teachers and students from around the world. Randall's site has been up and running since 1998. And the main I could go on and listen to those more, but there's a sample there. And then let me take a look at an example. Again, many of these activities you'll find, number one, the topic, uh, the type of voice, a male or female, whether it has a British accent or an American accent, and there are a variety of them. But let's take a look at one of these. It's called celebrating or celebrating a day at the beach. And so with these activities, what I've tried to do is create a full package of content so that teachers can really benefit from every part. In these conversations, there are pre-listening activities. And these pre-listening activities have really expanded upon what I've done in the past. In this case, picture predictions. You'll see a picture there and the teacher or individual student working independently will think about what the topic is about. Vocabulary brainstorming, guided imagery, allowing students to close their eyes and kind of guess based on certain words what might be coming up. After that, again, I do have a picture to prompt conversation and critical thinking and prediction skills. All of them will have the recording. So take a look at, listen to this. Again, an AI voice gen generated voice. And when you get down to this part, notice the inflection in the voice, the emotion that can be done with AI. So this one is on a topic of a father taking his daughter to the beach. A language activity from Randall's ESL Cyber Listening Lab. One sunny day, a father and his six-year-old daughter set out on an adventure to the beach. They packed their sunscreen, towels, and a bucket for collecting seashells. When they arrived, the little girl immediately ran to the shoreline, eager to feel the sand between her toes. The father followed behind, keeping a watchful eye on her. As they walked along the beach, the little girl spotted something buried in the sand. Look, Daddy, a clam. Look, Daddy, a clam. Again, even the emotion is captured there. After that, there are conversational uh, comprehension questions where students can listen and, and select the correct answer. I also do have the questions on this section of my website in text format, in case teachers prefer to use it in that way. I have different types of questions. I have explanations of, for the answers, which I think this is really important. I have detailed, thought-provoking questions as well. Like, for example, easy recall. What did the father and daughter do when they arrived at the beach? Then intermediate, where they analyzed the information. How did the father demonstrate his role as a responsible parent during their trip to the beach? What did he ask her? What did he do that we can see that? And then we can look at the final question, for example, in the advanced analyze the character development of the father and daughter through the story. How did their actions and experiences shape the relationship and individual growth? Again, what I find with these type of activities under life stories, it was a collaboration between me and my experience as a language teacher, but also using the power of AI to allow me to generate information. And then as I analyzed it, I determined what would fit into the lesson or not. I have a section on role plays, 
classroom activities based on learning modality and uh, and so forth so these activities under life stories really might number one demonstrate the power of ai but also allow teachers and students to maximize their learning around some of the topics i've selected through thought-provoking questions through an audio, through pre-listening, through post-listening activities, using a variety of accents. Give these a try under Life Stories.